Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. It's a very fluffy, soft brush. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually contour the face. So with that, you want a matte bronzer. You don't want to go um, shimmery just yet. I'm going to take Hoola by Benefit. It's my oldest bronzer ever. You can use any matte bronzer. You can use the NYC um, Sunny Bronzer. Take this, and I'm going to just dab a little bit in there at first into my brush. And I'm going to start um, right here at the temples and just kind of sweep that on there and then I'm actually going to start to go on my cheek and I'm not going to go like that I'm actually going to hug the um, cheekbone so I'm going to go kind of like that in a little kind of crescent or something so starting with the fat side at the outer edge because we wanted to go from fat to thin I'm going to go ahead and just start to sweep this inward and like I said, I'm hugging that right there instead of going down. Ooh. And just sweep it and keep blending it. And then you always want to blend upward when you're blending your bronzer. You never want to blend downward because you want this space to be completely free of any bronzer. I'm going to take this um, along my hairline. This is good for people who have like the five head thing going on. And then of course I'm gonna put some right here. I went a little heavy with my bronzer. You don't have to, you do it however you wanna do it. Um, this is how I like it right now. And it might change in the future, it might not, whatever. I'm gonna zoom out my angle, okay? And that's it, that's all I have to say right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is um, actually take a shimmery golden bronzer. And this is where we can apply that highlight. And this is by Toki Doki. Woo! And it's called Royal Pride Light to Medium Inferno Bronzer. And it looks like this. So just a really nice golden, pretty shimmery bronzer. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to grab some of this just lightly. And I'm going to start to brush that right on top, not as low as I went with the other one but like right on top and just kind of buff it into the original bronzer so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and as you can see I'm kind of starting like from the outer part and working my way in because I want it to kind of fade inward next thing we're gonna do is actually apply a little bit of blush and I'm taking my NARS Denmari palette which I never use can you believe that I bought this thing and I never use it that is what you call a makeup porter or not sin this is desire right here just a like nice hot pink color and it's matte which um is good because i don't want to add more shimmer right now right now the bronzer is doing the whole shimmery highlighty thing so i'm just going to use this matte pink and taking it um with just the tip of the brush just kind of slightly dabbing it in there now you can go warm with your bronzer like you can do an orange or pumpkin color or whatever you want to do I just want to slightly add this in just little by little just giving it a little bit of like my cheeks a little bit of a flush to go along with the bronzer I'm gonna add more highlight because I like to be really golden and really highlighty and bronzy so I'm using elf's got a glow which is a dupe for um, NARS albatross so if you have, uh, if you have albatross it's awesome if you have max like vanilla pigment that's awesome too and I don't know any other <laughs> but yeah any like goldy white white gold kind of highlight is will do and I like to pack my highlighter on with a flat brush like this, this is by benefit and this is just their um like foundation brush and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna concentrate this mostly in that C like right here that's where I'm gonna put it to put this highlighter on the tip of my nose you can do it straight down too on my cupid's bow and my chin and then right in the center of my forehead just a little bit 
I have to put brow gel on. I just can't find it. So I'll just do that later, you know. I like to comb them like this. I like to groom them because they're a little too bushy. Okay, I'm going this a little bit. Make it softer. I will say that the bronzer does look a little bit more um, dark on camera than it does in real life because right now it doesn't really look that dark but on camera I can see that it looks kind of dark. <laughs> For the summertime I'm going to be wearing a lot of orange lip so it's by Makeup Forever and Makeup Forever lipsticks are only $19 which isn't really that bad. So um, it's number 40 and this is what it looks like. It's the perfect, perfect, I'm sorry, I said perfect, um, perfect, um, summer color. But, <clears throat> <clears throat> this is a good, um, I hit the cough. <coughs> I believe I have a throat infection because my throat feels very swollen and I keep coughing and etc etc details tmi right so if you're pale like me um but you have like a more of a pink undertone then do something more corally rather than something as bright of an orange as this like, anyway that's exactly how i did my bronzer the only reason i did this video was because people actually requested it and um i know a lot of you didn't like my bronzer we're like girl that's way too much bronzer what are you thinking you are not a makeup artist oh my god but then there were also people who were like hey i really like that can you show me how i like to for the summer play up more the cheeks and lips um rather than the eyes because it gets hot like humidity and eyeshadow do not mix and i just feel like <clears throat> it's suffocating my eyes or something so i feel like a genie <laughs> mm, yeah so I hope you guys have a really, really great day or week or whatever. Ciao.